Hey guys, so Sia bringing you a, another video. Welcome back to more Season 11 content. We are playing Annie. We're against a Twisted Fate. So I picked into Twisted Fate full knowing it because I should be able to beat him quite easily. Enemy comp is a bit weird. They have no AD carry. Uh, they've got a Seraphine down there for some reason with a Nico. No idea. Um, but anyway, bringing up the Olo Meduda. Um, and what I'll actually do, because I couldn't do it last time, is I can do that. There we go. So we can hide the HelloFresh stuff just while we're looking at this uh so it's a high plat game uh we're against a twisted fate guy he does play it a bit uh he's gone very defensive though he's gone the spell book teleport build something happened in chat i'll check it momentarily they have a duo q seraphine and the gangplank we have a duo q bot lane but unfortunately for us as you can see ad carry main good support main good well then ad carry main support main so these two are out of position but that's a support main and that is a top lane main so there's a lot of people actually out of position already this game, so that's a bit weird. Um, and what happened? Uh, Jellybean, a thousand biddies plus ultra. Thank you much, Jellybean. Very kind, very kind. For the PMA and the game energy, go huzzy go. Thank you. Again, PMA, guys, is something that I've been trying to spread for the last couple months. PMA is positive mental attitude. If you're going through a bit of a rough thing at the moment, that's fine. But just say PMA to yourself and keep moving forward. Because hell yeah. So I think we win this game if it goes late, right? We have more balanced comp. They don't have an AD carry. Uh, they have obviously AD damage, but they don't have like an AD carry that they can just protect. That does constant DPS like we do. Burst-wise, I can burst probably those three as Annie in late game. Nocturne also could probably easily kill them. Tanky boy. Tanky boy. Twisted Fate can go AD. I doubt it. I doubt ADTF is a thing anymore. So what's it? Jarvan. Mm, have to be a little bit careful of like a level 2 gank. Because he does have his combo EQ by then. I'm just weirded out by the enemy bot lane. Seraphine Nico. So weird. Oop. Yeah, I also can one-shot a Gangplank if he... One doesn't have a great game, or depending on his build. That Swiss of Fate was getting a little bit cocky. Problem that I've got is Swiss of Fate wave clear is so high. Java Zava with a gifty subby. That's my Java Zava. So this guy actually might be going AD because the amount of auto attacks that he's just doing on me is absolutely mental. So he's very focused on auto attacking. I don't think Galio's dead. Pretty sure I can kill this Swiss of Fate if he's not careful. Mana, dude. Mana, mana, mana. Mana, mana. Oh, they're killing Gangplank. Um, Ebug, thank you much, dude, for the six months prime. Says, good morning. Good morning, dude. Hello, Jarvan. I expected you. Hello there. My yeah, Twisted Fate damage has actually been quite surprising. Like, his damage is higher than I actually expected, to be honest. Don't know if anybody else has been surprised by his damage. Mm. He's going to be really pushed in. Get wrecked, dude. Whew. 
Ozma, your content has been part of your daily routine through this year. I got diagnosed with depression early in August and you've helped me through these tough times we're living in. Uh, you do make a bigger difference than you think. Oh boy, thank you thank you for that. Again, the, yeah. Those type of messages... Uh, do they, uh... Hmm. They, they mean a lot, thank you. And hope you're doing well. I really do. Again, I think people know, <coughs> people know, but I do ge genuinely care about the people that watch my content. Uh, Squindle Queen, eight months tier one. Hey, Huz, you love your content. Your videos always make me smile. That's good. Probably mainly laughing about my League of Legends play, I imagine. <laughs> so, what's he doing? I think they get dragon, if I had to guess. What's happening top lane, by the way? They, were they duo? No, they weren't duo. Our bot lane's duo. So why is the Nocturne, like, literally just camping the living hell out of top? That's really bad. At least they could recover it. Chogath <laughs> just DC'd. Yeah, Twisted Fate is tier. I have no idea why. Twisted Fate... Oh, well, Messi's going Mirror Mana. But Twisted Fate is not a, a tier champion. There's been a lot of weird builds, man, in League of Legends nowadays. So how are we doing? So I'm doing fine in mid, as you'd expect. Top lane's doing... Again, he's 201, but he's, like, really doing not great with farm. Nocturne's doing okay, but we did give up the first dragon, obviously. Which I'm not a big fan of. Bot lane again. Oh, they're doing okay. I just don't know with scaling. Like I, we should technically outscale them, but it also depends on if like people are good with positioning. Again, there's no point having an AD carry if she can't position, and she just gets caught by a Seraphine or something. Yeah, I warned them. Spot lane. That might go actually okay. Because Noct Nocturne's there straight away. Yeah, that's good. It's going to be a two for one. Yeah, it's not too bad. That's lucky that Nocturne was around literally right there. So Jarvan. It'll be interesting to see what Jarvan builds. Oh, he's got lane. Overstay by the Nocturne. Again, the problem that you've got with obviously having autofills, they're doing okay. But the problem, that, again, when people don't actively play their champion, they basically just don't know how strong they're going to be, you know? That's like a big problem when people aren't actively playing or they get autofilled. They can do okay, but they might do things that they would never do bef like because they just don't know how much damage output or something. <laughs> this twisted fate. He's so cocky. He's so cocky. It's like he just doesn't doesn't expect any damage coming out of anybody. Like again, his build is also pretty not good. So, oh, Chogath's taking that fight without his ult. If he survives, that's actually not that bad. Because Nocturne might be able to go up and finish. Java bot lane. So we're having a pretty free lane as Annie. Again, I did pick Annie, by the way. There you go. I did pick Annie into Twisted Fate. It is a counter. Twisted Fate struggles against things that can just burst 1v1. Also, Ari's quite good into him too. I don't know if any of you have noticed, though. Jarvan is living in bot lane. Maybe the, the Nico is gone. It kind of feels like the Nico ain't here. Oh no, she's there now. 
So she was just gone for ages. What is going on with this Cho? Just don't die. That's wasting the Jarvan's time so much. I kind of want to roam down there because it would probably be pretty free. I've had a lot of compliments on this sweater. Yes, it's nice. Loctar Ogar. And sadly, my characters in WoW are on Alliance because my friends play Alliance, but I am a Horde player. In my soul, I'm a Horde player. God, we might lose this game just due to the Cho. Can't really play a game where he's like DCing all the time. It's like it could be a, a really clutch team fight and DC. Jarvan's bot lane again. What is going on? Like, wait, is it like a funnel? Am I missing something? Because she's gone the support item. Is that what it is? Oh, is it Nico? Oh my god, am I an idiot? Is it Nico as Jarvan? Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I'm actually an, an idiot. This twisted play. Holy moly. I'm actually an idiot. And Cho, but he's DC'd again, by the way. Yeah, we might lose this game. Even though we're winning, it's kind of a stomp. This guy is just DCing so often that it's a 4v5. Because now Gangplank gets a free TP down there. Luckily, it doesn't really do anything, and Nocturne is still going to get the dragon. But oh boy. Hopefully, just stop DC here, please. Hey, game top. Oh, this Cho'Gath. They're doing Rift. Is this guy trolling? Why is it not in the middle of the pit? Oh, now it is. What happened then? Yeah, the Twisted Fate is 100% underestimating the damage that I do. But Addy does a lot of damage. That's why I play the champion. But Twisted Fate never wins these 1v1s. Like, even before, like, all of these, all of the seasonal changes and the new items, Twisted Fate still lost this matchup. I'd just say the matchup has probably got even worse with Twisted Fate because of the damage increase. Twisted Fate might go bot lane straight away. Nope. Go on, lads. Oh. I want the tower. Hey, Mischief. It tier two boots. Has been slain. Hmm. Hopefully we can win this game, but it is going to be a difficult one. Because this this is the argument that a lot of people say it's, a, it's a an argument as old as time. If you're this this Cho'Gath is a support player, they've been auto filled top. The argument that a lot of people have is should this player should should they just dodge.
Yeah, he's having connection issues as well. I am quite lucky in the fact that, like, I've never really had... I've had, obviously, times that my internet has just been down. But if my internet is up, I never really have, like, disconnect ongoing. You know, like, this show is disconnect, reconnect, disconnect, reconnect. I've never really had that. If this Twisted Fate is staying... Oh my days. Bot lane's losing. Jungle is dead. Oof. That was close. Did I get him an assist? I don't even remember. Close. Got bot lanes losing really badly. Zero for Zaya. Oh, I don't know if I can carry this game. Between the gangplank and well, the Cho'gath being less than half well, half farm, and our bot lanes losing quite badly. I just don't know if this is a carry, unfortunately. We'll try our best, everyone. That's all we can do. Again, PMA. I gotta start probably roaming because like, I can kill the Twisted Fate without any issues. Maybe I need to roam bot lane and just get like a, a one shot on the Seraphine or something. But it also is quite satisfying just killing the Twisted Fate. Saw that coming from a mile away. That's what Zed Fate is so angry, I bet. Because he turned to try and kill me. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that Galio saved my life. Oh. I'm sweaty. Oh. God damn. Let's go. Like, again, we should win this game. Our comp is so much better. It's just the performances of our teammates haven't been. Can't, can't move. Oh god damn it! Seraphine just stuck me still. That was my bad. My bad. My bad. I went in a little bit too crazy. Oh, I missed the tibbers. That's what got me killed. If I hit the tibbers, I would have one shot the twisted fate, and then I could have continued fighting. But I missed the tibbers. This twisted fate. Wait, what? Oh, oh! Wait, he one shot. Oh, Galio took care of the twisted fate. <coughs> you flashed. Ah, uh, Jarvan. Oh, Gangplank's there now. Oh, so the whole enemy team is mid. And our Cho'Gath's top and our Zaya's still bot. Ah. Go, Galio! Is he alive? Let's go, dude. Wait. Wait. Wow. Really? Was that even worth it for Gangplank? Yeah, we have a Zaya. 
She's been having a bit of a rough game. Zaya's dead. Zero five Zaya. So we they basically have the twisted fate. We have the Zaya. But then the gangplank is still having a pretty bad game too. Uh UTV222, thank you much too for the brand new tier ones up. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Welcome to the Pleb Squad. Enjoy your stay. Isn't Zaya in a weak spot? I think she, well, she's not weak enough to go zero and five. This is the player just playing it quite bad. So I think a Banshees might not be terrible this game. That's a bit cocky positioning, but maybe he's trying to bait. Nice taunt. Too much damage for the enemy team. Nocturne just couldn't do anything. Hold him still, Glalio! Glalio! Hello. What are you doing? Questionable. Galio, by the way, is still trying to kill- He got him! Okay, that's hilarious. But Gangplank in this whole time is just staying mid- uh, top, sorry. Yeah, I don't know what the Java did that. Like, there's no way you can take me on right now. Um, I might just get... Oh, what do I get? Hmm. Honestly, Cosmic. Cooldown reduction to get Tibbers back up. Uh, tankiness and movement speed that I can stay in attacking people. I think that's the better one. And I thought that PB would... Well, dude, I don't know if I... Did I tell the story about my recent deadlift PB? So I've been training quite hard for a deadlift PB and I'm going for 200 kilogram within the next couple of months. Um, I'm not in the phase of getting a PB right now. I'm in the building phase. So a lot of a lot of high reps with like a little bit, like 80% of what I can do um, is kind of the goal. Um, so I'm not supposed to be doing PBs. I did a PB the other day without realizing... Um, that my trainer just kind of made me like my trainer wasn't telling me what he was loading the the, the bar with. He's DC'd again. Like this is my point. We're just gonna lose the game because he's not even around. It's like it's legit like a four v five. Um, but yeah, he wasn't telling me what he was loading the bar with, and I lifted it, and I was it was a bit it was a bit difficult, but I didn't have any straps on or anything. And uh, he was like, kind of laughing, and I was like, "What?" He was like, "That's a PB." I was like, "Wait, what?" Not a, not a big PB, but my last PB was 160 kilo, and that was with straps, and I struggled. Like that was the max that I could probably do, really. This went up pretty solid. I did it three times. I did the PB three different times, and you know, was okay after. Maybe could have done even another one. Damn it. Um, and without straps. Straps is a big deal for when you're lifting. Uh, PB is a personal best. So I, I was like, what the hell? Also, was Zaya not involved in that at all? Was she just split pushing? Okay, she might be a little bit tilted being 0-5. You never know. I'd say this is a fine Baron, but if if Zaya was there from the beginning, there's no way she loses to Twisted Fate, right? Gale. Okay, she misplayed it. 
I'm guessing she doesn't play Zaya. What? Why wouldn't you let him blow the card? Oh, she's misplayed that. That was a really big misplay. Okay, what is the Zaya doing? Gee, oh my god, what is my team doing? They are really making this game hard for me to carry. <laughs> oh my god. Like, they, they don't want to win, I guess. I'm dead. Oh. My team is just making us lose this game. This is annoying me now. Nocturne might be able to steal it. Nah, he's not going for it. They just need a group with me and we win the game. It's that simple. But the Zaya is just playing really bad. Is she a Zaya player? Well, is she an AD carry player is the first question. She is an AD carry player, but is doing really bad recently. Mm. Overstay by Nocturne now. They get Gangplank, that's a good... Yeah, it's the Zyre and the Cho. Just group with me! And we win the game. Level 16. Um, oh, again, we have these two split pushing again. It's the two people that are costing us the game are the two people that constantly are wanting to side lane for some reason. Can't help him. Oh, this Cho'Gath. Just doesn't know what to do, does he? Are you serious? I just didn't have enough damage. Ah, FF. This game's over. The Cho'Gath and the Zaya just costing this game way too much, unfortunately. She has her ult, by the way. She could have altered the gold card. It's so annoying that we're losing this game. It's a free win. Just the Zyra and the Cho'Gath. Oh god. 1v3, but there is a Galio ult. Timed not well. Good taunt timing though. Nocturne's damage has kind of fallen off. Oh well, this Twisted Fate wins. That makes me sad. Nothing I can do about it though. Dude, I played that so well. I played that so well. Dude. See? Killed the, the, the killed the thingy, survived the Jarvan, gave Cho'Gath the dragon. And that gave us the soul, by the way. We just got the dragon soul. 
See, this is the frustration of like we're winning quite easily, but it's the really odd decision making from the Cho'Gath and, and the Zaya. They're just like not wanting to play the game. If they just played real, again, if they played ba bare basics, really basic, I'm just going to not split push. I'm just going to group with this Annie, group together, swipe. We win the game. Like it's that simple. We would literally win the game. Nocturne's probably going to try 1v1 him. Flash would be quite useful for me, though, in, like, an engage... Wait, Gangplank's taking that quite... Oh, Nocturne loses. Yeah, too squishy. That's the problem with, again, autofill Nocturne is he doesn't know how much damage he's actually dealing. Oh, Zio and Bot. Okay. I thought we were actually having a fight. What's she doing? Why does she end up... Okay, it's just even. The Zio should never be looking to take that fight. Twist of fate? Wow, he played that bad. Oh, Zio played it worse. Yeah, they get him though. Overstay. But then they're in our base. Oh, God, this is so stressful. Uh, some random owl. Eight months of Prime. More months go by and the more Prime subs get used. Hopefully your team picks things up and you win this one. Hopefully. But man, it's difficult. Even with how fed I am. It's because again, 0-8 and then this guy, I don't know. Just feels a little bit lost. It might, Yeah, it might actually go down to an Elder Dragon fight. Which again, I think is good for us. Because we, we legit, if you notice, we're not grouping as five. We're not grouping as five to team fight. That's what I want. I think our team fight is actually really good. Yeah, Cho's score is misleading. Did I really miss? Come on, Cho, land that. Knock it, knock it, knock it. Well done. Shame Nocturne died because that would have been barren. Uh, Slighton, 674. Two months tier one sub. Second month of giving back to someone who has given me great content. Hey, thanks, man. Appreciate it. No, 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 no. Ow. This could go well. I got the auto! Oh, it's not enough. I should have ignited. I honestly didn't expect that much damage. I need to back off. Damn, I should have ignited. He's taking the 1v1 again, but he might win it that time because he actually used his ultimate. Yeah. The other time he didn't actually ult, I don't think. Oh, Z this is Zaya! She keeps dying with ultimate up. Oh my god, how one person is losing you the game. It's crazy. A range.
Hello. Let's go get Zonya. Man, if Zaya just has one okay fight, not even good fight, if she has one okay fight, we win. Just she's not being useful. She's not pressing R, so she keeps dying. Yeah, Tibbers is permanently up, basically. It's like a stupid low cooldown. What are you doing? Oh, I didn't have my stun up. Weirdly, I thought I actually had my stun up then, but I think I used it on the minion wave by accident. So Twisted Fate was looking to try and backdoor then, but that wasn't that wasn't gonna work. Yeah, I'm full build. I might change up some pieces here or there. Like I do actually think a banshees would be quite useful. So I might pick up a banshees, but we'll see. doing weird is the what i'd say the one thing with this twisted fate that he's done is he hasn't respected people like he died so much to me in lane phase by just not really respecting oh i can just get killed by a tibbers here wait he really should have been respecting that That's not ex oh it wasn't executed there i got him there we go oh i got that one too what happened how did i get her i have no idea how i killed nico hello did i was it like red buff or something but there we go folks i'm gonna be honest we carried the hell out of their game and the zaya and chogath really didn't want to win it seemed because my god <laughs> i'm gonna give it to the galio because i actually think he played quite well yeah, I know Elder Dragon got it, but I didn't know what actually triggered Elder Dragon because I didn't attack the Nico for quite a while. But that should have been, by the way, such a quicker win. Unbelievably should have been a quicker win. But the Desire and the Galio, uh, sorry, the Desire and the Chogas just had different plans. Oof. But he went 21. So again, 21 kills in a Platinum Diamond type game. 21, 5, 10. 219 farm. Plus only 16, which is a bit poop. And damage-wise, yeah, we do a little bit of damage. And you can see how little the Zaya and Cho'Gath was doing this game. Um, so that was pretty much, like, Nocturne did okay. But that was, if I didn't have this game, we would have lost. Like, we'd 100% lost. Even with Nocturne doing well, I don't think a Nocturne can, like, solo carry a game like I just did as Annie. Because he could maybe kill one person, and that's about it. We could kill several people. But there we go, guys. It shows Annie basically still can carry solo games at this rating. And yeah, the enemy comp obviously was pretty bad, so that helped us quite a bit too. But uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed, do throw a like on it to end out the video. Thank you so much, Ace Kingpin, for three months of Prime. Uh, but yeah, thanks everybody for today so far. It's been also pretty good. We're nearing 600 viewers live on Twitch. And do remember, even though the, the stream is just sponsored today by HelloFresh, if you're a YouTube viewer, the, apparently I've been told it might last a week. Feel free to check out HelloFresh. Use the code HelloHuzzy at checkout. 60% off your first order, 35% off your next three. And it's absolutely mental how much savings people are doing. People have said that they've been ordering the Twitch chat, getting 10 meals for like £10. And it should be basically global, depending where you are in the world. If you have HelloFresh in your country, it should work. So yeah, check it out, uh, the HelloFresh website, and use code HelloHuzzy at checkout if you want to use that deal. But anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Adios, amigos. Goodbye.